Hey guys, today let's play a game of Telling Lies. Uh, this is an interactive uh, mystery investigation game, kind of similar to this developer's previous game, Her Story. Uh, so Her Story came out in 2015. It was, uh, it was an interesting game because it used archive footage, um, and you had to search on the computer for the different footage and kind of uh, use them to uh, let yourself know or try to determine uh, whether or not the the, the person inside the footage was telling a lie or not, and you had to piece them together, so it's kind of like an investigative mystery. Uh, it's very do it's done very uniquely, though, through video clips, and I think this game is kind of similar. So this game came out 2019, uh, about four years after her story, uh, and I think it uses some a similar mechanic, which is using an uh, interactive uh, medium type of gameplay. So let's check it out. And a Perna Interactive. We'll start off with some real live action footage here. Karen, what a name. Oh, well, this this desktop and database looks similar to what was used in her story. So all right. Alright, so I can tell you that this mechanism is very similar <laughs> to what was used in her story. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same, actually. You're on a desktop, you have access to uh, a kind of search thing, and you have to search for a certain, like, keywords in order to find video clips, and then try to match things up, so it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, pretty similar, I would say, yeah. Uh, Castle Open Source Operating System. This looks similar to Unix. Um, yeah, <laughs> it looks similar to, like, KDE or Ubuntu or something. 64, and yeah, leave no trace, and all that. Now, of course, you, this time it's a girl. You can see her reflection on the screen. Last time it was a guy that was doing the, the searching. Interesting, but now you have extra settings. And you can also play Solitaire. So you have a, a game of Solitaire here if you want to play this. It's built into this game. <laughs> oh man, it's been so long since I played Solitaire. Three, okay. How do you play Solitaire? You gotta put them in the same suite or something like that. Uh, anyways, <laughs> you have Solitaire here. I don't. I forget how to play Solitaire. Sadly. Um, yep. And then you have this. Some ASCII art. It's probably should double red now. It's some ASCII art here. Retinadoc.pdf. Right about it. Is it? Yeah, so basically it's pretty similar to how her story was played. Search for some yep, keywords and then get some video clips and then listen to the video clips. All right. I've only ever been in love once. Uh, this was the basically that's what this whole game is now, is listening to video clips. I guess I still carry the torch for it. Which makes me an incurable romantic or Underdeveloped emotionally. I'm a loyal friend. I like girls with nice smiles. Nice smiles. Site profile says so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my car source is not cool. He's thinking? What's going on? I... Decorate. 
Oh, okay. What's this? You can bookmark it. And then you can scrub backwards to get to this speed. Okay. Alright, bookmarked and I watched it. Oh, this was four minutes long. Is that it? She's definitely wearing some revealing clothing, that's for sure. She's playing dress up or something. Snow White evokes something a little dark. It is shorthand for asphyxiation or say, fantasy. You know, I have a kinky side. Ooh. Tell, do tell Don't you? more. Mm -hmm. What do you do, Prince Charming? Short for work. You have uh, serious eyes, but I see something a little wild inside. Oh, no one is using me. Honest with sex workers, oh. even in real life. Is she they say their lives for the people that matter, <laughs> their wives, their bosses. You are married. <laughs> yeah, there are other things we can talk about that you wouldn't say to your wife. Your session's almost over and we haven't even pulled around yet. Mm, too bad. You like to pull around? Mm, maybe not with sex workers. Okay. I think she just admitted you herself as one. <laughs> Will you come back some other time? I like you. Damn, is she wearing like color contacts or something? Goodbye, my prince. I think those are color contacts, not not natural eyes. Maybe that is her natural eyes, I don't know. Definitely stands out. Mm, okay, it's this one. Oh. 
keeps it shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams. We'll be cuddling soon. By the silvery moon. Funny. I always sing when I'm in the dark or in the bath. Who is this girl? Maybe. Okay. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams. We'll be cuddling soon. By the silvery moon. Funny. Um, I think these are different, right? You're no, maybe these are different. I can drag the screen. Oh, I see. I can speed it up. I always sing when I'm in the dark or in the bath. What? Okay, let's go back. I think there's two. Okay, we of course we gotta limit the results to five. Uh, let's see what we can find here. When you watch that, this one. I hate reading this out loud. Well, my stage name was Jane Dean, and we were Jane Dean and the Rebels. <laughs> Shut up, I was 16. What were you doing when you were 16? You try to get away from a car? Yeah, I don't think you're quite got material. Hmm. That's your opinion, though. No, <laughs> no, you're not got material. If you say so. Yeah, you were a little bit vague about that. Um, it's gotta be some. It's gotta be something scuzzy, otherwise you would have told me, right? Um, you're not a drug dealer. You haven't offered me drugs yet. So it's not that. I hope it's not something I disapprove of. Nothing in advertising. You're easy to talk to. Maybe you, like, sleep with rich old ladies in California for money. Hmm. I don't think so. Not my type. Yeah, gigolo, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> a gigolo? Oh my god. We made movies. Any that I would have seen?
You give me the willies. Because you stopped. Give me the heebie jeebies. The heebie jeebies. I'm so sorry. No. I mean, it's interesting. Everyone I know was born here. We grew up dressing up as astronauts and rock stars, but we knew eventually we'd end up working at the American Axle. Hmm. I dream of being a singer, but I work in a record store, and you came back here from L.A. you seem real? That's because I am real, girl. I'm realer than you. N no, no. No, my mom works at American Axle. <clears throat> my mom's the kind of hippie who shacks up with a retired accountant and moves to Florida. It's very counterculture. Okay, what this one? But she hates hospitals, you know. She's convinced that the doctors had it in for Papa, and that's why. He... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just blowing it all out of proportion. <clears throat> I'm telling you, she won't go. Okay. David, she's a grown woman. I'm like, I'm triggering and going to the doctor. Yeah, and Alba's so happy to have her Mima here. And I guess if she really is sick, then it's better that she's here instead of on her own in Texas. You know? Be jealous. Uh, no, should I bookmark these? I bookmark that. I don't know. What do you mean you hate pumpkin pie? Well, that's great, because that just means there's going to be more pumpkin pie for me. <laughs> Whoa. You have? Well, guess what? Like I'm giving you five one. dollars too. Yeah, I wouldn't miss the world, kid. Yeah. No, Alba, 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 Alba. That was very naughty. You don't do that to people when they're asleep. Alba. Alba. I. No, hello. It's, it's David. I'm at work, remember? I'm sure Emma, I told you I'm gonna be home in a few weeks for a short visit though. Well, that's because my work doesn't look like normal work. No. It's David. I have to think so.
this one. It's a new person. No, I know it. It's another new person. Okay. Pumpkin pie. That's who he was talking to? Pumpkin pie girl. I've been practicing for my recital. Mama says she will give me five dollars if I sing. You're going to be there? Did you step out? You don't look like you're at work. Christ, I'm so tired. I fell asleep waiting for you to come home. Two drinks and I'm out like a light. Happy Thanksgiving, honey. Wake me when you get it, okay? Wake me up, 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 up. This girl, man, no context at all. And it's I actually don't even know what happened. Is there a murder or a crime or something? I don't even know what happened. Is not great. <laughs> I don't even know what uh, happened. Books. <laughs> I have a lot of books. Um. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need shelves. Oh, here is a thing that we can do. Okay, grab the top book off of your pile and turn to a random page, and I'll do it too. And what you read tells you what kind of a person you are. Yeah, yeah, it's a silly game, but, well, this is awkward, so I'm breaking the ice. Just do it, and then I'll stop being awkward. Man, there's a lot of awkward silence in these clips. Mm-hmm. A lot of awkward silence. Jeez. Columbus was a motherfucker. Columbus? You're talking about Columbus now. Okay, my turn. <clears throat> what? He's talking about Columbus. I'm not reading that. Well, it's not a proper book, it's where I write my lyrics. For my eyes only. Yeah, I used to sing a band. I don't. Anyway, I got out of the habit. Alright, moving on. <clears throat> you get memories of a golden age. My next break was starring alongside Jack Vesna in 
in the popular Hercules serial. I played a mermaid who falls in love with the hero against her father's wishes. Swimming together on screen, we were the perfect couple, but the reality was a Hollywood nightmare. The water in the studio tanks was freezing and gave us all cramps. Then there was, uh, Jack. Jack didn't act the part of Hercules. He believed he was Hercules. All the women on Earth, mere mortals, created by the gods for his pleasure. After the show, he summoned me to his dressing room. Inside, he was stood naked, posed like a classical sculpture, a shockingly well-endowed one. Mm. I ran, uh, and Hercules and his, <laughs> and his club chased me down the corridor like something out of a horror movie. Jeez. Okay, that, that, that's a, an old library Getting pretty book. pretty erotic it in that one. Falls at that part. So. Mm-hmm. I like reading about how people got famous. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea, but I didn't want to embarrass you. Just being ladylike. <clears throat> I had fun tonight. Hmm. And listen, I don't want you to think that my Cinderella act, I just, I'm in a place where I'm not really rushing anything like that right now. Me too. Ugh. I think I've made this awkward. Good night. Okay, we don't book that kind of one. Not sure, it's a one this is a real relationship. And I know that this is just the way it has to be, but I'm on my hair, I just feel like I'm a teenager again. God, David, you're not even listening. Mama, Jesus, not go. Is that David? No, I'm having a private conversation. Let me talk to him. Oh, Hi, David. Look what they did to your handsome face. You look like Daniel did in the 70s. I do worry, David. While you're off growing your hair and saving the world, your wife here is raising her daughter all on her own okay. and holding down a okay. job. It's a lot to ask, David. <sighs> You don't know Emma like I do. She's not as tough as she thinks she is. You are such a good husband. You need to be here. Your daughter needs to feel like a part of a family. Okay, Mama, could you go check on Alvin in the bathroom, please? Sure. Bye, David. not and she's right that's what's so infuriating uh, I got this it's fine you go catch some bad guys yeah it's just my job honey nature of the job. That looks like a real relationship, right? I've got this all under control. I promise.
We were in a relationship. I knew what I was doing. You and Eric, you don't own me. <laughs> You're not the law. Talk to me. I get to decide if I'm a victim of a crime. You don't just go and attack people. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You're gonna get arrested and you know what, maybe you should. I never asked you to. Look, back then the group sided with him and yeah, that felt shitty. But hey, it sucks to be a woman. And now what are they gonna do, hmm? Oh, her boyfriend just beat up our friend. I guess she's okay after all. I mean, this whole thing is fucked. And I'm stupid because I expected better of you. You can take your gift back. No, I didn't open it. What's inside? Peter's scalp? Detroit's a really weird place. That's a nasty place to have sex, actually. <laughs> Detroit. What can uh. I do by myself in Detroit? I don't love you and I don't miss you. Okay. Bye. Oh, 100%. Do you see his mustache? Detroit, Michigan! Yeah! You, Detroit. I'll be this guy, okay? You going to sleep down there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hold on, bro. <laughs> Damn it. said he raised hogs in Tennessee. You'll bullshit at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> oh. I was the horn. Oh. I'm Unlet it, please. What is, he t what is she doing? She's going over a list of like quotes or something. I don't get it. I have no idea. I guess she's chat just chatting with someone else. No, it's rented. Are you from Tennessee? Yeah, 
Will MasterCard do? You remind me, you remind me of someone a lot. Yeah, a boy, a man, named Rick Jarman. His plane went down in the mountains of Mexico 15 years ago. You laugh like him. You look like him. He was so dreamy. Billy Ray, do you have a tattoo? <laughs> Your upper right arm, a dove? I'm not leaving till you show me. Mm. Right arm. My friend would have never been in that war. Oh, he was very much against killing. Oh, come on, man. All right, well, you just stole my line, so there you go. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. No, this movie night, dummy, your accent is terrible. Mm-hmm. You need to get some sleep. You have a rally tomorrow. I'm not attracted to you for your acting ability. Good luck tomorrow. Stay safe. Oh, man. That was a pretty long one. Girls are gonna be having sex with an ice cube. Ice cube? What? Oh, I haven't seen this guy before. He's just looking at the screen. All right, you know what? Um, this one telling lies. I feel like, I don't know. I just, I don't like it as much as her story. I think the reason is because, first of all, these videos are a lot longer. Like, man, when just sitting through some of these videos, it was like, oh, that one was like what five, six, seven minutes long. Like, it's pretty long. And most of these videos, it's hard to understand the context of what's happening because they're just talking to someone else. I know you gotta like piece together what's actually happening, but it's just you need a lot of patience for this game. Like you have to like go through all these long videos of people talking to each other, and then you have no context of what like, their conversation. You gotta like piece them together and stuff, and you got different people talking with different parts of the conversation, right? So I find it more disjointed than her story. Her story was like, okay, you got archive footage of these twin girls that committed a, like, there was a murder that happened, and there's these twin girls, right, like, one of them is a, a suspect. It's pretty straightforward. You go through the video clips, they're pretty short, and yeah, it's, it's easier to get into the game that way. This one is like, man, you need a lot of patience. Go through all these different clips, different people, different topics. Like, a lot of awkward silence in these clips, too. Like, <laughs> some clips are just, like, the guy stares at the screen, the girl just, like, stares at the, stares somewhere else for, like, you know, 30 seconds or something, you don't know what's going on. So yeah, I find this game, this one is a little bit more disjointed and really, you need to really watch like a lot of these videos and um, I don't know, I just don't have the patience for that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyways, but if you guys do, if you guys, you know, have the patience for this game, then you have the, you know, to watch all these, you gotta obviously enter, you know, something, uh, you know, some keyword like this, right? Oh look, there's all these new keywords. Oh yeah, that look, that hooker girl showed up and then the kid showed up. So yeah, um, 
if you have the patience to watch all these videos and try to piece things together as to what actually happened, then, uh, then you know, go ahead and with this game, I think you'll like it. It's pretty interesting uh, and interactive that way, I guess, trying to piece together things from video clips. But yeah, for me, it's just, it, it takes a little bit too much time, like more so, like her story was actually like, it was um, also pretty unique and interesting, but it was more like pretty straightforward on what you're supposed to find, I think, um, as you like narrow down the keywords and stuff like that. This one is just, I don't know, I have no idea what these guys are talking about. So, <laughs> what these people are talking about, I mean, it just seems to be all over the place. So, yeah, it, maybe this one is not for me as much. But anyways, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. It's Telling Lies.